Welcome to a new video about uh, CarPilot Pro. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, new abilities uh, that are introduced in version 4.4 of the CarPilot Pro app. And this version introduced uh, a new, whole new set of abilities for making uh, bathymetric maps. We're going to go to everything. So keep up and uh, we'll learn everything you need to know. Now this particular map you see on the screen now is so-called shaded relief where you get a 3D effect of the map. Uh, but before we dive into those kind of details, uh, I want to show you some troubleshooting uh, abilities that we have first. And in order to do that, I will select a, another map which is created by using a deeper and deeper has some issues and the app will help you overcome those problems. So let's just dive right in here and select a map from a deeper. And as you see here, we got several artifacts in the display, a lot of small stones or artifacts. And over here, if I can just zoom in, We also have an area here where the depth has, they're totally insane. There is no way there are seven to eight meters around here. And the reason is that my deeper got some problems when it did the mapping. So let's solve these issues and let's dive into the bathymetric editor, which we do by selecting bathymetry from the menu. Now, first of all, uh, I got a lot of questions um, about if I can use more than one data file when creating maps. And yes, you can. So if you select uh, one file, you see here I have mapped only part of the water. And I did several passes with the mapping. So I'm going to select everything now. This one, this one, this one this one and this one. And after a few sessions, I was finally able to, to complete uh, the map. And I can create um, a map now with all of these files, but I can also uh, simplify things. I have a button down here called Merge. And if I press that, all of the selected files will be merged into a single file. It makes it a little easier to work with. So when you press the merge button, it will suggest a, a uh, file name with a underscore combined behind it. And that's fine. I'm going to just do save. And I got one single file here. Now, as you remember, I had some problems around here where the um, where I had some depths of yeah, seven to eight meters. So new in version 4.4 is that you now have the ability to zoom close in. And here is the problem. Somehow the deeper got uh, a problem around here and reported totally silly depths. This is not true at all. And in order to get rid of that problem, you can just start to tap these points and they will go away. Let's remove everything around here. I think it's fine. And as soon as you do changes to some of these points, you will see down here that a save button appears. So I'm going to press that now. And it will create a new file called combined edited. The edited is then the edited file. So I have, if I select this now and zoom in on the same area, these bad points are now gone for good. Well, that's fine. So let me quickly select the shoreline and see if we still have some problems here. This is the shoreline. And I am going to call this map a test. If you have a map called test before and you start typing it, you will now overwrite the previous file, which is totally fine because this is just a test file. 
So let's just create the map. And my problems around here, they're gone. So now I'm fine here. But I still think I may have some problems. No, this actually looks good. Now, before we continue, let's go back to the um, depth logs here and have a look at some other features. So I got one file here that's also a combined file. Let me just select it and deselect that one. As long as you have only one file selected, you get some basic uh, file manager features above. So what I can do here is that I can rename the file. Uh, TTT and hit save. And the file will be renamed as you see here. Now, if I select it again, I can also copy it and I get the file called copy. And if I select that as well, I can press the delete file and the file will be deleted. And I'm going to delete that as well. Now be very careful when you delete files here. These depth logs, they are in reality your gold. This is the result of all your mapping efforts. It's no problem to delete a depth map, but if you delete the result of your mapping, if I were to delete this file now by pressing delete, as soon as I press OK here, then this file is lost for good and you cannot retrieve it. So be very careful and keep an eye on your CSV depth log files. So I'm going to click cancel. So we made a map here called using this one. And we have already selected the shoreline from before. So we go back again here. And now we're going to talk about some other features that we have available in version 4.4. The first option is that you're able to select different color maps and then it's totally up to you what you prefer and you can test it out and see whether or not you're satisfied with the result. Uh, all of you probably have some preferences and yeah it's up to you and it will remember the choice as soon as you made one. You can even make a gray one here. And uh, it will then stay uh, as the default selection the next time you use the editor. And the second uh, and really big uh, improvement is the ability to create shaded reliefs, which is activated by making this choice. And then you will have two options popping up. The first one is the height of the sun. So we're going to put an artificial sun here on the map and shine it and create a 3D effect. So I usually prefer one of the lower angles, but it highly depends on the water and you need just to experiment what suits best for you. I'm going to select 10 degrees. And then the second uh, option is the position of the sun. And north means that the sun is on the north side of the sea and it shines down southwards and creates shadows along ridges and so on that are then in the shadows. So I'm going to do north or perhaps I can do northeast which will be around here and then hit create. I didn't change the name of the map now, so it will still be the map called test. And not all sun angles are good, so you have to do some experiments. I don't particularly like this. Let me try southeast instead and hit create once more. I'm not happy with that either. Perhaps I should choose a different color.
yeah not the best map let me try well northwest perhaps so as you see you can always create the map again if you're not happy with the result that's fairly good around here this is a small water and it's quite uh, slim so it might not be the best uh, option let's uh, try a quite different water this is my C number one in France and this is the one and I can just keep on using the same let me create it yeah this is basically the map where we started the video and this is quite a flat uh, water not sure if I like the solar angle, but uh, it's not bad at all. Yeah, that's good. And now I have shadows here on uh, the west bank, typically. And if I were to do it from the east, I will then create uh, shadows here on the eastern side. And it's done. Yeah, as you see, the shadows is here because the sun shines from the east over to the west and then we have along the ridge here a shadow which is quite good actually what you do here is you start clockwise or anti-clockwise and you just add some new points along the edge of the water so let me just quickly stop it here and go along the other side. This is just for demonstration. And as you see here, I have some of the points that are really on the road and not on the shore. So just move by long pressing, it will jump up and then you put it in a new position. And if you need additional points to get around uh, edges let me just exemplify here you can press the pluses and it will add additional points making it far easier for you to move the shoreline around this bush here so not the problem at all and around here not that bad when you're done then at the bottom here you have the ability to save you can also undo the last actions and you can clear everything but let me just print, hit save and save it and now it's available for you so if we go down here on this tab here and press this we can now select the test E1 and it's only going to be that part of the water that we made. You see here the circle around here got pretty nice. Uh, obviously here I've spent a few minutes in the bivy and created it the way it should be. So I think this is pretty good. And if the shoreline is pretty good, then the result of the map you make will also be very good if you have long straight edges it's gonna look terrible i think this is really nice result here if you zoom in all the way all of the lines are going to be razor sharp uh, the problem is that if you want to share this uh, file uh, with someone else who doesn't have the car pilot pro um, maybe they want to use it on google earth or just get a picture then the picture will not contain these uh, lines at all uh, but don't despair we have the option over here to make it google earth compatible i'm going to select that and hit create once more and in this case the lines will be drawn as it did in the previous version. So the lines are here. 
but if you zoom in you'll see that they get a little blurry but the good thing is you can now share this file with someone else and uh, one more thing that's new if i quit this bathematic editor since you successfully created a map then the app is going to automatically zoom in and show you the result and also if you want to select another map and have a look at it we made this we yeah, have this old dl bad and then the app will automatically zoom in on that water we made a test the last time and this is this water right and uh, last but not least uh, let's have a look at the changes we did to line mapping so uh, here we can see that we have depth in the app i'm going to start recording and just like in the editor you are able to change uh, the color map in addition there's an auto filter here on the name and if i am to choose an existing uh, file and append to it i can also select it here in the auto drop down then you get a warning saying that this file exists and uh, this action will append new data to it i'm going to say okay to that and in addition uh, some of you hate uh, the green lines behind the the boat when you're doing mapping uh, we now made it optional it's default off when you uh, install the new app and just select it here if you need to have that uh, green path or not i'm going to select it off right now and then we're going to extend the mapping Driving to target. as you see here i chose a different color scheme and it now applies that to everything that you previously had please note that if i zoom very close in i can't see it right now but right now this is um is uh, the, the lesser lower quality uh, and in order to get the high quality when you stop line mapping you get a new question if you want to post process it if you don't then you'll uh, left with this uh, uh, <coughs> depth map and you can use the bathematic editor later but if you choose to post process it right away you get straight into the bathematic editor the testing uh, will be pre-selected you can see where you draw and when you go into the create map then you also have the same name for it and now we can post process it using a different color and create it obviously you can also put on a shoreline and everything here when you're done mapping like this so that's it guys